When the European Commission president gives a major speech, it's broadcast live in more than 20 languages. Distinguidos miembros. Mesdames et messieurs. But despite this nod to the European Union's diversity, there was no sign language interpreter in Ursula von der Leyen's State of the Union speech this year. It is a union where we strengthen our individual liberty through the strength of our community. A union shaped as much by our shared history and values as by our different cultures and perspectives. Members of the deaf community in Brussels have been calling for more accessibility to these major speeches for years. The European Union of the Deaf was really disappointed that deaf people in Europe were not able to access this very important address. We've been working with the European Parliament, with the European Commission for Accessibility, so it's really unfortunate that deaf Europeans had no access to this. The first deaf member of the European Parliament was elected in 2009, giving the deaf community representation it lacked for decades. And despite the lack of accessibility to this year's State of the Union address, campaigners say things are slowly changing. To be fair, there are weekly press briefings and they have provided sign language interpreters. For this address, it was really unfortunate because we've been advocating for access and we hope that by the next address they will do this. We asked the European Parliament why no sign language interpreter was provided for last month's State of the Union speech. They told us in a statement that interpretation into sign language to members that require it to exercise their democratic mandate is ensured and that the speech is always made available in written minutes after it's delivered. We also asked the European Commission and Parliament if a sign language interpreter will be on screen for the next State of the Union address but neither would confirm that accessibility for the deaf community will be improved in 2022.